I'm Dave. And this is my cave. Well, today we're here at Dave in the Cage, and I think we're going to talk about some shift kits and Trango in particular. Uh, another partner in the business, uh, been beneficial to us uh, way back since uh, the late Gil Younger has um, got into the business of actually repairing transmission, fixing what went wrong to prevent comebacks and stuff. So fast forward to today's world, I got some new kits. One of the first things I noticed was some labeling on their boxes whether the transmission has to be removed, not removed, whether it's an optional thing, or whether there's reaming. So they have these little labels, and when you look at their label, that little symbol would be right there. So as soon as you see the symbol, you match it, you'll know whether this is something you could do in the car, whether you have to pull it out and disassemble the transmission. It just makes it that much quicker. You don't have to guess. You don't have to start reading the directions whether I have to pull it. They're nice enough to let you know up front. Great thing to have. Saves a little time, a little guesswork. So their newest kit come out, another reprogramming kit, for the RFE family. That's the 45, 545, 65, 66, 68 RFE, the whole family. Two kits pretty much cover it. One thing they're calling this is tuneless technology. So this is more than just your basic shift kit or your junior. And a little note, when I first opened the box, one thing that they do is they love to put in technical information. These are the instructions, but this was on the top. Again, guys, it seems like a lot of literature. There is great information in here. It's technical information. It's stuff they tripped over through all the testing. They're letting you know they stubbed their toes so you don't stub yours. So right on the second page, at the very top, I'm reading, and this kit is like having a transmission tuner. It is beefing the pressures inside of it. Uh, it also has an extra valve to use at a triple disc converter so you don't have the harsh apply. But one thing this thing says, and it's in bold letters, use only with OEM TCM transmission tuning. And in other words, if you get a modified truck that has an engine tuner, and if it's just the engine tuned, this kit will work perfect. It'll actually complement the training to the engine. However, most tuners, when you tune the engine, it also tunes the transmission. This kit is like tuning the transmission. So basically what you did is tuned it twice. So again, if you already have a trans tune in there, if you can take it out and put it back to OEM tune, you can use this kit. This is basically a transmission tune in a kit. So when you look at the kit, it's not really that bad to install. There's a few pages. And again, please pay attention to detail and shift kits. Don't overlook anything. Again, as you use them, I know guys like to pick pieces, parts to use, and they don't believe in whole shift kits. Trust me, the way they put these together, they're meant to go together, the whole kit to be installed. Again, you want to be creative, that's on your own. I prefer to go with the stuff they got. Again, there's some valves in there. They give you a new snap ring for your input drum, the one that blows and breaks, and it's flat. It'll replace the beveled one. The accumulator plate that likes to bend, bow, pop out, screws loose. This is uh, pretty thick, so you're not going to have that. And again, like I also said, this has another valve in there, and it has it in the instructions for when you're using like a triple disc converter where one didn't come out, you can get a real harsh apply. They have it figured out in here. Really great kit. There's two kits, one for the seven ball, one for the five ball. 
Transtar number is T72171. AHP for the seven ball, and then for the five ball, it's T72171 BHP. We'll have them both in stock. They're gonna be great things, and again, these things are coming in. The diesel guys with these Ram pickups love these things. They love spending a lot of money. Let them go away happy using this. Also, what they have, and this is an add-along, this does not come in the kit, but it's probably not a bad thing to do since the overdrive clutch is probably one that takes a beating the most. They give you a fine pressure plate. Now with this, it's different from the OE, so you should be able to put a few more clutches in there. By doing that, you're adding capacity. Again, you've tuned the engine, you beefed the trans, beef it up a little bit more. If you already have your way, great. If you machine them in your, house, in your own shop, great. If not, they have a solution for you. And Transtar part number on this is T72140HD. And again, it has the label, and when you look at this label and you match it up, Transmission removal required. So you know, again, this is a no-brainer for us, but if somebody was to buy it or something, now you know it has to come out because of the nice labeling. Again, to our partners at Transgo, thanks very much for all you do and contribute to the industry to keep hair on our heads. Have a great day. have it. But since I got off the bench and I don't get to use fine products from our partners, hair fell out.